Every year from December to February, Japan becomes a winter paradise for those who love snow. There are numerous options for where to go to enjoy snow in Japan. We just arrived from Kanazawa to one of the best winter destinations in the country. No, it's not Hokkaido. We are in Nagano. Since the Winter Olympics in 1998, Nagano has been known as the go-to place to enjoy winter. Renowned for having more than 80 ski resorts, igloos, and the cutest monkeys taking bath in the onsen. Another thing that you have to know is that Nagano is a faster destination if you wish to go skiing from Tokyo. With only a one and a half hour train ride, in comparison, the train ride from Tokyo to Hokkaido is 8 hours. So yes, you can really tell the difference. Oh, by the way, if you haven't seen our previous video, we visited this wonderful village in Kanazawa that's known as a UNESCO heritage site. It's also so cool during winter with all the snow on top of the houses. Okay, enough with the chit chat, let's get going! We're going to buy the Snow Monkey Forest Pass for 4,000 yen. That's a two-way trip. That's a two-way bus trip. And also you'll get the entrance for the Snow Monkey Forest Park. And it's very nice here because they have the tourist information there. And everyone there speaks English. So it's very, very helpful. <music> buy the ticket, you have to go to the basement. And, we, and the park closes at 4 p.m. Right now it's already 12. That's why we are rushing again. <laughs> Even though we are 19 days in Japan, we are always rushing. Always rushing. We got the locket. It's right beside the machines. Machines there, and it's this one. And uh, the person upstairs said this is the only place you can buy the pass. Basically in the subway line, so you need to go down to the basement. Yeah. Yeah. We are on board. It's going to be a long ride. It was around 50 minutes right? but we only arrived to the bus station and we still need to hike up for around 1 hour? 50 minutes? No, 30 minutes. Let's go! Okay, okay, thank you so much. Hi, Can so I try much. the apple? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. I'm hungry again. I blame the cold for this and I didn't eat enough in breakfast, so my bad. But there's sweet potatoes there, yummy sweet potatoes. So we're gonna have this while we hike up. Turns out there's more food here and I'm stuck with my sweet potato. the hiking trail there's a place where you can rent empty slippery shoes but we decided not to rent one but, but now I recommend it if you're not wearing any snow boots yeah. in the winter 
it can get very slippery. Yeah, and there's no fence in on your left side, so you know you can fall anytime. We are proceeding with extreme caution. super slippery and it's around one and a half kilos but the road there is so beautiful that you won't really feel the distance at all and you can see this part is snowing and here is like autumn colors so beautiful right in front of me look <laughs> hello This one. <laughs> <laughs> so cute guys. And they're just showering there and like relaxing and eating some stuff. I think the people here they feed they, them. Yeah, they feed them so they will come here. Because the monkeys are not always here. There are some days they won't come. So we're lucky today. So unique. The monkeys are everywhere. Look, it's just down there. They're not afraid of humans at all. And what makes it really unique is that most monkeys hate water but the ones here they, they do the onsen during winter it's so cute you can also see the babies down and we bought some more yummy potatoes and oh, also good. yeah and also the apple is so sweet guys from the previous one that we bought yeah so if they're there and they have the apple oh the apple are seasonal so if they have it you have to try I think it's called Fuji apple yeah it's Fuji apple and yeah. they say oh, it came from their own farm oh wow yeah okay mm. Mm. And the sweet potato too. It's so good. Mm. So sweet.
dinner time. Yay! So Let's find some food. We we just check into our hotel and it's located just like two three minutes from the station, and there's so many food here. So we don't know what to choose, but I'm I'm really hungry. Yeah, but from my found from internet, Nagano specialty food is uh, miso ramen and their soba and also it's called sauce tonkatsu it's basically oh. like tonkatsu but with the sauce with extra sauce yeah so i think we're gonna find one from three of this yes let's go the MRT yeah. <laughs> and I don't know why there's a lot of fresh delights here <laughs> just in front of the MRT this is the MRT get us <laughs> <laughs> and it says here please pay for this product at the ticket gate what? please use your MRT card to pay for the <laughs> mushrooms and garlic you find it so unique very unique <laughs> and then just in front is just seven vending machine Oh my god, you have to see, you have to check this out. It's a cheesecake vending machine. Oh, it's expensive though. 1,750 yen. Wow. Oh. Okay. Is it fresh? Something that Leonardo always do is read the directory. <laughs> In Japanese. Okay. <laughs> I really wanted to try the Nagano Soba, but Leonardo wants to try the Katsu. So we were like fighting and then hitting each other. <laughs> no, we weren't. I'm not sure. <laughs> no. Then we found a place that sells both. And look how big. This is a vegetable tempura with scallop. I didn't realize it would be this huge. Yeah. yeah. So and it smells so good. It smells so good, yes. And we are starving. We didn't have lunch. Kadakimasu. Kadakimasu. How do we eat this though? Okay, guys, if you know how to eat this and if we're doing it wrong, please let us know down below. Yeah, comment down below. Because <laughs> we have no idea. I think first we need to try what is that? Try? Yeah. Is it cold? It's cold. Okay. Yeah, I guess this is the hot one. So you can eat it in hot and then cold. In hot? Yeah. <laughs> but how do I eat it with hot if it's a teacup? Okay. Okay, then you let's, try this. Let's ask. Sorry, how do we eat this? Okay, they give us the they give us the instructions. So this is soba yu. So uh, I'm sure we are not the first one that asked about this. They need to print it out the instruction. Mm, okay. So this is Soba yu. It is the water that that is used to to boil the zaru soba, and then you're supposed to drink this after you finish your meal because this water contains protein. Yeah. Okay. So let's eat. Let's eat. Tadakimasu. 